You should shred those, wipe that off and melt that down. Look at that Carol's viral campaign video. You can't tell me that was money well spent. Uh, I will have you know that that video got over 1,200 hits in the first week. Did you read the comments? Haters gonna hate, Ellen. That's the music business. My agent reckons the Red Tube version nearly broke the internet. Plus, I have had some seriously positive feedback from a producer in Germany. A producer, huh? Yeah. A producer. A man can be interested in a woman for reasons other than her body, Ellen. Or maybe that's not been your experience. Oh, no, wait. I've seen you naked. Definitely isn't. Where did you see me naked? The campaign launch. The paddle steamer. We were sharing a cabin and you were parading around like a total lesbian. I thought you were asleep. I was pretending. Girls, girls, please, come on. Is this how you're going to behave when we get to Canberra? Do you think our country is governed with all this petty bickering going on all the time in the background? Hmm? Uh, fair call, carry on. What are you guys doing in my office anyway? Because the new office manager said we had to share. That's total bullshit. Where am I supposed to put my creative hothouse with your crap all over it? <laughs> creative what house? Hot house? Oh. No. This is our desk. Yours is there. Yeah? Well, that is some more bullshit right there. Who is this new office manager anyway? I'm going to give him a piece of my fucking mind. It's Rita. Oh, might actually leave that then. <laughs> Scares the shit out of me, that woman. I heard she killed a man. Why all the salamis? Oh, Mum's coming in for lunch. I think she's totally got a tapeworm or something. Eight hours ahead of Prague. It'd only be two in the morning. He'd still be having dinner. All right, all right, think on this. <sighs> National parks are paid for by the taxpayer, yeah? Right. So this time, our benefactor wants to fund this one himself, except it's going to cost a hell of a lot more than what's going into Andrew Dugdale's war chest. Since when is a national park run by an energy company ever been well, a thing? You know, public-private partnerships are strange bedfellows, Alan. You know, Obiashi, they built, they built CityLink 20 years ago. Now, they're working on a space elevator. Isn't Obiashi also the guy that built the tower that Bruce Willis threw Professor Snape off in Die Hard 1? That's an Akatomi tower. Yes. I think I might stay there if I tour Japan. Gunter's trying to get me in the Badoken. I bet he is. Yeah, five seconds of summer did their last live tour there. Fucking rocks. Why didn't Rita move her to your old she office? She put Miles in there. I wonder if she's thought of calling herself five seconds of Carol. Might be a bit too long. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the good bit. Oh. I am Australia! Oh, fuck me! But I'm sorry, I'm late. I had to get a top-up from the little man at the servo. Oh, he's going to regret that unlimited refill policy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Want to see my spread? No, I'm good. Funny? Mum, this better not swell up. Gunter wants me to show him my new moves on webcam tonight. Mm. Are any of these pepperoni? Oh, two days of nothing but watermelon and expired ponderex. I'm fucking starving. Just over there by the window. No, 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 Can't no. Can't share with Miles? No offence, Curtis, but it's very close in here already. None taken. I ran Rodrigo Duterte's mayoral campaign for myself half this size and he never complained. Yeah, but did he have to deal with an idiot in the corner with a banana peel on his head? Yes. And proud sponsors of Gook and the Bambino, the voice of the basin. Driving you home early on this sunny Thursday afternoon, it's a top of 23. Can you give this to the program director? It's the dance remix version of my song. 12 minutes, but you could probably fade it out after 11. <sighs> I'm not sure it'd fit in with that playlist, Carol. You know. We'll just play it as an intro to Dad then. Uh, yeah, but then it becomes a party political ad and, and we'd have to pay for it. So. Well, I could do it live as a part of the interview. I've got the backing track. But, but he's only got three minutes and then we take calls. It's... How about I call in? I'll talk to him. Thanks. It's 4.27 and coming up at the bottom of the hour... Keep it light, be relatable. Avoid policy, no politics. Well, I've got to address some policy. We're taking callers, aren't we? Well, deflect, don't commit to anything. I mean, offer, you know, platitudes and sympathy, but nothing concrete. Yeah, but Name I... Name recognition alone's going to win this. It's, it's about being, not doing. You're a cipher onto which people can project their own hopes and dreams, desires and fears. Cipher? Oh, like... Oh, yeah. It's like getting a pep talk from Martin Heidegger. I was thinking exactly the same thing. I mean, how do we know all that halal stuff doesn't fund terrorism? Have they proved that it doesn't? Yes, well, that's a question I hear a lot, Shazza. And uh, it's all part of the national conversation. Thank you, Shaz. Now, Andy, we have a kook and the Bambino celebrity challenge brought to you by Penhelix. <laughs> For you, right now, if you're up for it. Well, I'm not really a celebrity, Bambino. I'm more a public figure. 
but I am happy to give it a burl. <laughs> well, good on you, Andy. Drum roll, thanks, Kookster. Now then, former Prime Minister and present candidate for the seat of Murray Darling Downs. Yes? Which politician? Now they can be from your side, from their side. Whatever, doesn't matter. Yes? Would you? Yes? Turn gay for! <laughs> Oh, wow, uh, that's a that's a very yeah, very interesting question, Bambino, um, and certainly raises a lot of issues for the LGBTQI community. Well, of course, we're not trying to offend anyone. Mm. It's just a bit of fun. Sure. No, I, but personally, I'm I'm quite partial to a BLT myself now. Uh, yes, and this is a regular segment. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, semi. Yeah, it depends on who's in town. Uh, Kevin Andrews did it for us last month over the telephone. Ah, uh, well, he's a good sport, Kevin. Oh, yes, he is. You know, he uh, he chose Cyril Page. Oh. Oh, so they don't have to be alive. No, they can be dead if you like. Whatever floats your boat, Andy. <laughs> they don't even have to be Australian. OK, well, let me think. Uh, I don't think I've ever been asked that question in my political life. Now, well, can you just get on with it? We've yeah. got the uh, stock report at quarter two. OK. Uh... Matteo Renzi. <laughs> You heard it first right here at Cook and the Bambino. Andrew Dugdale says that he'd get all chubby for Matteo Renzi. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, who exactly is that, mate? Uh, he is the uh, former Prime Minister of Italy. Right, well, it's time to hit the phones, folks, because the best bawdy limerick about Andrew Dugdale and Matteo Renzi getting it on together wins themselves a $23 gift voucher from k and Timber Supplies. k and where everyone gets wood. But in the meantime, let's take another caller. We've got Reg from Fingles Creek on the line. Want to be a part of that? I think that's like the idea of the Chinese buying up our power. Well, tell him? Um, two points there, Reg. Uh, firstly, yeah, Rainbow Energy is, a, is an Australian company. It's been around since 1989. And secondly, uh, Fabian Silver did very, very well in the mineral resources boom, and he just wants to give something back. Seems like he's dug a lot of holes, and now he just wants to put some trees in them. <laughs> yes, that's right, Bambino. And the uh, second point.